The Fox News alert, major breaking developments in the Paul Pelosi DUI case. Remember they refused to hand over the mugshot in the body cam footage? Well, we know why. Court documents now show Papa Pauly P was absolutely plastered. How he getting special treatment? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I want to tell you about exclusive uh, discounts that we have. You in the military, you can just click on exclusive discounts. You'll see military, active, veteran, or dependent, uh, fire, uh, police, EMS. You can go down. If you're a doctor, student, senior, commercial, driver, or if you are disabled, disadvantaged, meaning on disability, low income, food stamps, whatever the case may be, you can click on them, you get an exclusive discount on my store for life. And then also we got GGY6, you better get it now because it's going out of style. The shirt that I have right now, this is the, that's the female version, but this is the, the actual shirt. This is the best shirt that I put on it. This is one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorites. You better get it now. GGY6 will get you 20% off the entire store. Our shipping is the best in the industry. Nobody's beating us in shipping. Nobody. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Pelosi's husband. Somebody explain to me how this guy is not on every news outlet. Because if this was Donald Trump's wife, or this was Don Jr., or somebody of the Trump family, or some conservative, they'll be talking so much trash about this dude. And it's not just because it's Nancy Pelosi's husband. It's because the details and what happened in this case, people need to know about it. He doesn't want to be famous, and I'll make him infamous. This guy is at, at least they were reported to the scene at 10.15 p.m. of a vehicle collision. Now, this wasn't a minor fender bender. This was a major collision. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, damn it. And then when the police officer arrived on the scene, that uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, was buckled in his seatbelt. So it's no denying that he was driving, he was in physical control of the motor vehicle at the time in which the accident occurred. And let me tell you what shady stuff he did, which I think is very important for us to know and they won't talk about it, is that when he passed over his driver's license, he also gave them a card that says 1199 Foundation. In God we must. Sir, please get out of the vehicle. You have a great night. Sir? Huh? Now, what is the 1199 Foundation? Well, according to the news article, the 1199 Foundation is a website that provides emergency assistance to California Highway Patrol employees and scholarships to their children. <laughs> Donation levels that uh, that you have to donate to to become a member is between $3,000 and $100,000. And we all know why Paul Pelosi decided to give his driver's license with that card. It's because he wanted to get out of jail free ticket. It's a lot. I'm going to have to ask you to take a breathalyzer test. Mm -hmm. Got a runner! He wanted to show the police officer, hey, man, I support y'all. Uh, give me a break. Well, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, let me explain this to you. As a police officer, you cannot play with DUIs. The dude then crashed and, and caused injury to another person. And so you're not going to just let him off. According to the police report, also, he had signs of impairment. Observe objective signs of symptoms and alcoholic intoxication or alcohol intoxication. Some of the signs included red, watery eyes. He was unsteady on his feet. His speech was slurred. And also he had a strong odor of intoxicants on his breath. This is a sign and symptom of a DUI, right? Crash necessitates an investigation. He has signs and symptoms. He's in physical control of a motor vehicle. And then also, they ended up taking his blood at the hospital, or maybe they took the, the blood at the police station a short time later, and he his blood alcohol concentration was .082, which is over the .08 limit. Now, I want to give you guys some context to this because some people are going to say, well, he was just a, a, a .08. Well, the accident occurred at 2217 hours, which is 1017 p.m. He didn't have his blood drawn until 00, uh, 32 hours, right, which is 
noon, which, which is which is pretty much midnight. Midnight thirty is what I call it. So from ten to midnight is the time it took for them to get to the accident and also draw his blood. That's a two hour difference, and alcohol metabolizes in the blood over a period of time. Now, it depends on age. It depends on what you have to eat, whatever the case may be. He could have tried to eat something in between. Now, they shouldn't have let him eat anything. He may have tried to eat something in between the time he got into the accident and when he got to the hospital to help accelerate the metabolism in his blood. So there's a good chance that he was far above a .082 at the time of the accident. Not at the time when they drew his blood, at the time of the accident. And any good investigator and any good uh, laboratory will then go back and almost like retro active on his blood alcohol concentration because then they will see and calculate how, how many or how long did it take for his blood to metabolize over a period of time and then they're just going to go in reverse and they'll be able to see how much his blood alcohol level was at the time of the accident. Now another interesting thing about uh, Paul Pelosi's DUI that they're never going to talk to talk about on the news is that his charge now, somebody from, from California Highway Patrol, if you know California law better than I do, put a link in the description section and, and give me explanation on this. According to the first charge, Pelosi faces DUI causing injury, which charged uh, Paul Pelosi with the misdemeanor for allegedly uh, unlawfully while under the, uh, the influence of an alcoholic beverage and a drug and under their combined influence, driving a vehicle and in so driving concurrently did an action forbidden by law and, ne and neglected a duty imposed by law, which proximately caused bodily injury to the person involved in this accident. Now, it's impossible to read the word sandwich that they created in the law. I don't know if it's just the article or the law, but this is a complete word sandwich. So long story short is that he was charged with being under the influence of alcohol. It says and drugs. I'm sure in the statute there's a charge for only alcohol or only drugs. But the combination of alcohol and drugs is what they charged him with, which is a misdemeanor. Which, which you know, should be a felony, but, you know, I don't know how California law works. However, this information that they're not going to tell you, I think that, and I hope, that Nancy Pelosi's husband is treated fairly. And when I say fairly, meaning treated like the rest of us and not treated like a celebrity trying to pass out a get out of jail free card. And I, I guarantee you he was taking prescription drugs and drinking at the same time and he got popped. It's what they do. It's what the elitists do. And he wasn't driving a Tesla. He was driving a Porsche. Probably gas, the gas mileage on a Porsche is worse than a, than a, 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 a diesel 3500. But anyway, that's it for me. Go to the Alcetatum store. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.